Okay, I am at 18459 East Mar Marbella Lane in Fort Mill. Marbella, Marbella Lane. Um, Mark w Warner. Problem is, uh, I didn't charge the uh, GoPro, so I had to use my phone. So I apologize for that. But this is the house. I met with the wife. Um, there is hell damage up there. There's hell damage on the front but not as bad as the back um, the hell damage on the front is there but there was about eight hits on the front and i would say 20 plus hits on the back there were so many hits on the back i just quit counting this house is only seven years old so when the hell hit the house it was about five years old so the shingles did a pretty good job but as a couple years have gone on the water has eroded those spots those bruised spots they have become bruised and pushed in and in the summer the petroleum shingle is so so uh gel you know it's so petroleum that the granules get stuck into the uh, shingle and then as the water runs down the roof it erodes those granules out of the petroleum because when the petroleum gets hot it gets cold and therefore they, they're not uh, embedded kind of like a river in a riverbed stuck in the mud it's come out so now the spots are more pronounced uh, you can see bruising on the back, the front, not so much. I went around and looked at all the gutters and downspouts. The uh, gutters look to be in good shape and the downspouts look to be in good shape. Uh, but sometimes the hail comes with a tornado or with high winds and it will push the gutters to, a, to an angle. So you'll see dents on the downspouts and on the gutters, but uh, not always. So um, that's just collateral damage, what they call that. That just helps prove your case when there is more, more damage. But there is two gas stacks up at the top. Um, up at the top up there I'm trying to point to them they're right there those have uh, dents in them and the ridge caps have dents in them um, there is no wind damage just a uh, hill but um, this concludes our inspection and it's about uh, I'd say about 15 to 11 cool thanks